Good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. You've never been called sir before, have you? Um, well, not from our friends, but, well. <laughs> well, I'm not your friend, am I? Uh, you see. No. So, tell me, have you, I know you've been to Egypt many times, right? Yeah. Maybe? Yes, maybe, no? Yeah. Maybe yes, no. Talk to me, come on. Okay, I have to talk. <laughs> uh, have you been to Hurghada? No. You have not? Not. Well, what a coincidence. Then you can learn something today, as today's video that we're watching in today's episode is from Hurghada. So you know the, the new guy who knows everything about the video we're watching, or what? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> You see, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are still in discussion if we're switching roles. I'm not sure if he's taking over my job now and I have to take his. I don't know. So well, first of all, <laughs> let me make this very clear. You do not have a job. <laughs> all right. <laughs> see, I'm on my free time. I'm doing that for free because I love it. And that's... And that's Why it. you should be yeah. doing it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so, Matthias, as you are the expert now of knowing uh, everything about the review video today. Yeah. So, whose video are we watching today? Um, I heard that uh, we're watching a video made by someone called Roberto. Pretty cool. And the video is, uh, or has been taken in Egypt, in Hurghada. Okay. And that's all I know. Huh. Do you know more? So, so, you don't know the camera. You don't know if he's using lights. I don't. Do you? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, so. Roberto didn't put this in his email, so we can't really share it with you. But maybe, Roberto, if you're watching this, you can put it down in the comment section below. So at least in uh, retrospect, we know what you have been using in terms of equipment to film this underwater film. Shall we watch it? Of course. Let's do it.
Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool ending, huh? Mm -hmm. Ever dived with dolphins like that? That close? No. Mm. For you. Mm, I know. All right. Before we get into talking about this uh, video that we've received from Roberto, let's take a quick break and thank our sponsor of today's video. Who's our sponsor? No, oh, it's no, not you. Not no, it's <laughs> not you. Well, you could be the sponsor if you want to. We'll have to talk to Die Fork and see. Well, I will check with them. Yeah, but please. Yeah. As everybody knows, the sponsor of uh, that episode or that uh, series is Die Fork. Exactly. And I cannot summarize what Die Fork can do and what they have. So the stage is yours. Oh, well, thank you very much. And we'll use that today to talk about Die Fork's new colors on their Die Fork C-Touch for Max. I don't think I'll have to talk too much about the revolutionary housing that they've produced and that they've put onto the market a few years ago, which enables you to use the touch screen of your smartphone, even underwater, for underwater photos and videos, which is really a pleasure to use underwater. But now they've come up with two different new colors in addition to the black color, which is actually really cool. So now you can kind of customize your housing uh, for your smartphone underwater a little bit by um, by um, kind of choosing a color that you like best, whether it is the white one or the oceanic blue one or the traditional black one, you have the choice there. As always, Dive Fork offers an extra 6% discount. So if you have a black Dive Fork housing but would like a different color on top of that, or if you don't have a housing from Dive Fork at all or any other equipment and would like to get some, you can use the code MatthiasLibo.com or simply just use the link down in the video description below, which will give you an extra 6% on your next purchase in the Dive Fork store. Thank you, Dive Fork, for sponsoring this video and for offering such a great discount to our viewership. And now I'll pass on the word to you and you can give us your first impression of Roberta's video. I will, I will. Yeah, Roberto, thank you very much for uh, letting us review your video. And um, what I have to say, what I liked really is the portrait of the fish. Yeah. They're, I mean, there they were pretty nice ones in there. Like, they're, like the framing is nice. The, the focus is pretty nice. Uh, the colors are very nice. They are stable. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Um, I liked as well the music. We're talking about the different kinds of music, I think, later, but when we're talking about the length. But the music, per se, was, I think, was a nice choice. Mm -hmm. went very long, uh, very well, along with the footage we've seen. Um, yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah, I agree to all of the points that you said. <laughs> oh, wow. It doesn't happen very often, <laughs> does it? I know. But I agree, I agree. I think it's, uh, uh, again, as you said yourself, the fish portraits, I think they're the ones, the, what, the shots that really stand out mm. uh, on your piece there. I think I think you've done very well with capturing these fish portraits because it's not easy to capture fish portraits, you know. Or most of the time, fish are moving, and uh, oftentimes you don't really know which way they're moving, so it can be a little challenging to get them close up, uh, filling your frame, in focus, and all that sort of stuff. So I think you've done very well there. The uh, color grade, I do agree that on the close up and the mid shots the color grade was very consistent and looked nice i think that on the wide angle shots there could be some work done yeah um because on most of the wide angle shots they were for my taste too blue and we don't know that but i'm assuming that roberto wasn't using lights from like how the imagery looked so i'm assuming that he was using manual white balance for like the close up and the, the uh macro the um sorry the close-up and the mid shots but then for some reason with the wide angle shots that either you didn't do a proper white balance manual white balance underwater or it just got thrown off um, i don't know what happened there but the wide angle shots they don't really look the same as the mid or the close-up shots and it's quite noticeable especially also towards the end mm. with the dolphins, yeah. which is a bit of a shame because those shots are really nice shots in terms of, you know, the framing, the composition, um, the integration of a diver in the shot as well. But then the colors, it just looks very washed out, very bluish, uh, not enough contrast in my opinion. And it, they, they just don't match the colors, which look very nice on your mid and close-up shots. 
So that's definitely something that um, I think you should be working on. Yeah, I do agree. I, I agree. I, I'm not sure if he was using a red filter. Mm -hmm. I couldn't judge when seeing the close-ups. But when we're seeing especially the dolphin footage, yeah, I, I would say he wasn't using any. No, I don't think so. Um, and, but even if he wasn't uh, using any red filter, I think with a little color correction, you could get a little bit more, or not color correction, correction um, uh, at all, you could get a little bit more out of the yeah. dolphin footage, especially because that there it's pretty notable. Notable. Um, I think it's more like, yeah, all, you said all the wide angle shots when you get a lot of uh, white sand and a blue, blue, blue background. Blue background. Blue yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's definitely a part he could work on. What do you think about the length of the of the video? Well, you know what I think. It's I think it's too long. I think that seven minutes or seven and a half minutes, whatever it was, is a little too long for a clip of that type. Um, if there was more of a story to it, then that would certainly help with the length, but I didn't really find much of a story in there. Um, I would probably divide it into separate smaller clips or just really get rid of the footage that is not, you know, that is just not as good as some of the clips and just try to get make a real highlight reel yeah. out of it. Um, also, I think that the sequencing wasn't ideal. I didn't really understand, Roberta, why you were putting the, um, the top side shots on the boat, why you were putting them in the middle of the video rather than at the beginning where it would actually make a much nicer intro into the whole film, then going underwater and then I mean, the ending with the dolphins works fine, but you really need kind of need more of a beginning. And that part, the top side part in the middle of your video doesn't really make much sense to me. So that's probably also something I would have changed personally. There was also an issue with some, um, some night dive footage being thrown like in the middle or sort of in the middle of mm. the film. And then we're going from daytime to nighttime to daytime. Um, as long as you don't have a a convincing story that actually makes it uh, believable that you're going from daytime, nighttime, daytime, it doesn't really make much sense to me in like a, a sort of a highlight reel to have that all mixed up together. But that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, I do agree. How do you see the length yeah, of the I, video? I, I like the same the same year. If, if you don't have any any really, really good story to talk about, mm. then I would just drink it down, as you said, and different pieces if you want to keep yep. as much po uh, footage as possible. Yep. Otherwise, I mean, there are so many cool shots in there. Um, just pick those, pick the dolphin, get an intro. Um, and then you have, I don't know, have maybe two or three minute video um, with some, all the time something is happening and you have all your best shots yep. in there. Um, I think you would be better off with, with that kind of, yeah, kind of approach to it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, yeah. Do you have anything else? Yes, I do have one more point that I've written down here that I'd like to mention, and that's uh, I've, I've written down overexposed. And uh, I do think that there were a couple of shots, actually quite a like, good handful of shots, I guess, that were um, overexposed. Um, I'm thinking also about some of the topside shots, but also underwater, where um, the brighter parts of the image, they're just kind of blown out. And I think that's... Um, that should be correctable. Again, we don't know what camera you're working with, so we don't really know what, what codec uh, the footage has that you're ending up with and how how workable it is in post-production. But if it's, uh, if it's well, anything that is semi-decent, you should be able to recover parts of those highlights. Uh, and if that's not possible, then you might need to um, not fix them in post, but take care of that in the first part while you're taking the shots underwater and try not to overexpose um, those brighter parts of your image. You know, when you have like, when you shoot something up to the surface and you have a very blown out surface. Um, so you want to try to avoid that if, if anyhow possible. But that's the only thing that I've got left on my list here. Cool. I don't have anything to add. Surprise. Surprise, um, surprise. <laughs> Look at that. So um, I just want to put all our feedback uh, together. Please do. And uh, yeah, Roberto, we really, really liked your fish portraits. We think they're very nicely uh, lit with the ambient light and, and the colors are very nice. The framing is nice. Um, yeah, like the close-up and mid-shots, 
are really, really cool. Yeah. Um, we think you can work on um, the, the sequencing of your, of your video um, in terms of length, keep it shorter, uh, in terms of order, start with a nice intro, then uh, go into the dive side, uh, try to get the, the night footage somewhere where it makes sense, and then get it to the end of the video like you did with a nice sequence. For example, for the dolphins. Um, and as well, we think uh, you should work on uh, the wide angle shots. Um, Color-wise and uh, exposure-wise, just be sure you're not overexposing it. And then uh, later on, um, just make sure they, they match the, the rest of your footage from saturation and, and, and yeah. uh, the overall look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much for letting us review um, your dive video about uh, diving in Egypt. And um, yeah, if you guys want to check out um, more stuff from Roberto, Matthias will link um, his YouTube channel um, in the description below. Um, hop over there, um, have a look at the stuff, uh, leave a like, leave a comment uh, over there. And um, if you're coming back to our channel, then do it as well. Leave a comment, leave a like. You can also do it now. You don't have to come yeah. back necessarily. Maybe they want to leave as quick as possible. I don't know. Um, but the important part is stay until now. Um, if you want us to review one of your videos, um, please send us an email to Matthias. No, not to Matthias. <laughs> send us an email to contact at MatthiasLiva.com and uh, put the link to your video in the, uh, in the email and a little description. Um, the camera used. Lights used, red filter, dive side, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I think this is why you should be doing this more often. Yeah, and, and, and now I'm realizing he's looking at me, so either I did a mistake or I was talking too long. So um, I didn't say anything. Yeah, but I, I could feel it. We'll see it in the statistics. <laughs> oh, wow. If everyone has jumped off the video by now, then we know. <laughs> Thanks. You got anything else to say? No, I'm finished. You're done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, perfect. But yes, please do send us your submissions if you have a film that you want us to review. We have actually come quite down on the waiting time. It's only about two to three months by now. Um, so if you send in your video, you can expect to have it reviewed here on the channel within mm, two to three months and uh, have it published here on the channel. Thank you so much for your time, guys, and for watching. Hopefully everyone out there, as well as Roberto, was uh, capable of uh, getting some information and some help from this review today um, and if that's the case then please let us know what you've learned in today's video down in the comment section below we'd really like to hear that feedback from you other than that there's not much more to say then uh, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end have a great week keep capturing all those amazing underwater adventures of yours and the two of us we will see you back here next week take care see you next Thursday. bye bye